counseling is an important skill which pharmacists need to be able to give to patients in order to provide good healthcare service. Now when you're, when you're given a prescription, you need to make sure that your counseling covers at least seven points. The first one you need to do is ask the patient the purpose of that prescription. Secondly, explain how that medicine works. Thirdly, explain to the patient how they should take it and then advise the patient about the potential side effects. That's number four. Any additional tips you'd want to give the patient so that they make the most out of that treatment. That's number five. Number six would be any monitoring requirements which the patient needs to look out for. And last but not least, number seven, the storage requirements. Now, if you are able to cover all these seven key aspects, you know, the patient will go home knowing exactly what to expect from that treatment. Also, if you're in an OSCE exam and you're able to cover these seven key things, you'd be able to pass and get your degree. So now by asking the patient the purpose of that prescription, it lets you, you know, find out whether that, that medication is suitable for the patient or not. A good example which I'm going to use would be cephalexin. So now with cephalexin, as a pharmacist, you know that it's an antibiotic. Uh, you know, it's prescribed for skin and soft tissue infections. So the kind of response we'd expect a patient to give would be, I have an earache, I have a chest infection, or no, I have a water infection, I've been experiencing some burning sensation while urinating. You, you get an idea whether it's suitable for them or not. Bear in mind, there's something called off-label prescribing. So some doctors, they prescribe medicines outside the license of the drug. So you need to be aware of these things. If you're not sure, just make sure that you question the prescriber and see whether, you know, that's suitable. If you cannot find any information that's suggested that's safe, make sure that the prescriber is aware that liability would be laying on him. How, what is the medicine used for? So now, with uh, cephalexin, we know that it's an antibiotic. So we tell the patient that it's used to treat, you know, different bacterial infections. How to take cephalexin is pretty simple. You just tell them that take it according to the doctor's direction. The potential side effect of cephalexin is just similar to amoxicillin. Now you need to be very careful when you advise about side effects. Make sure that you don't mention those side effects which will make the patient get scared to take their medicine. So now with cephalexin, one of the side effects which is quite common would be diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. After telling the patient about these side effects, advise them about how they can manage them. So with the diarrhea, make sure you mention that the diarrhea often starts as you initiate treatment, but as time goes, it subsides. So what they need to do is Make sure that they are well hydrated. You have to be practical when you talk about hydration. Specify the number of cups you'd recommend that the patient will take, you know, on a daily basis. With the nausea and vomiting, um, cephalexin often causes these side effects when you take it on an empty stomach. So you can advise the patient to manage this by taking it after food or with food. The other thing with cephalexin is you need to make sure you check whether the patient has ever had it before because you know like i mentioned before it has a beta lactam ring which is found in penicillins so if the patient is allergic to penicillin then they shouldn't take so if they've never used any penicillin before or the cephalexin before advise them about the signs of allergic reaction one would be swelling of the lips swelling of the tongue Difficulty in breathing, intense itching which tends to sort of increase as time goes on. So when this happens, advise them that they need to stop treatment, and then right away check the doctors. And if they can't reach the doctors, rush to the hospital, A and D department. After the potential side effects is the additional tips. Now with um, cephalexin, 
you know that it comes in a capsule so advise the patient that it is a capsule they should not crush or chew it don't just tell them that advise them about the purpose of that capsule what it does so things that you need to mention is absorption that it has to be absorbed in the small intestine so if they just crush it and swallow it it will not be absorbed to the fullest potential as it was intended to by the manufacturer also you might want to talk about the taste crushing it releases its taste inside your mouth and it doesn't taste very good also under additional tips you can talk about things like um, missing a dose some patients tend to miss doses advise them that if they miss a dose they should just carry on taking as soon as they remember if they are to take the cephalexin in about two hours from now they shouldn't double dose they should just take the dose from you know the next one and just carry on with the monitoring requirements for cephalexin there's not much to talk about apart from advising the patient to make sure that they finish the course it is an antibiotic so you need to make sure that the patient finishes the course even if they feel well emphasize the significance of this explain to them that if they do not finish the course there is a risk of reinfection and when that happens they might be resistance last but not least number seven which is the storage requirements check whether the patient lives with children you know children tend to look at tablets and think they are sweets so advise them that you know they should put it out of sight and reach of children preferably in a lockable cupboard so now with all these you should be able to you know pass your OSCEs and if you're a pre-registration student your tutor is going to be very very impressed with you check understanding this is very important make sure you check whether the patient understands anything or whether they have any questions some patients tend to forget ask them if it's okay if you wrote them some reminder in case they forget you know just a piece of paper or like a label and write down the key counseling tips hope you found that video useful subscribe below